breaking news. Commonwealth Bank has reported a 6% increase in full-year cash profits to $10.2 billion. Lifted by the higher interest rates, customers are paying on their loans. Let's bring in Ed Boyd. Ed forecast this just not too long ago, about an hour ago, actually. He's across the, um, he's across the details, as usual, Ed. CBA said consumer arrears have increased in recent months due to rising interest rates and cost of living pressures. Yeah, look, we know banks make more money when the interest rates go up. That's certainly what happened with Commonwealth Bank today reporting their profits. Their net interest margin, basically the amount of money that they make on every loan they write, increased by 17 basis points over the past 12 months to a bit over 2% now. So it's getting back to uh, pretty strong levels of profitability. But the thing that CBA today have flagged is basically there is going to be an economic slowdown that's coming and there is pressures emerging in parts of their loan book. So the bank has sort of said this morning, business customers at the moment are the ones that seem to be most at risk. Loan impairment costs are rising within the business banking sector. The consumer banking sector, though, people with home loans, not so much. But it feels like there's an implication that it's it's going to take a few more months before the pressures really start to come through. But it's becoming clear there are customers out there, both in the business and the consumer sector, that are now struggling on their mortgages and on their business loans. And I think this is a sign that we're going to see across all the banks when they report their profits over the next couple of months. OK. Chief Executive Matt Common says the Australian economy has been resilient, Ed, but there are downside risks emerging. Yep, this is from CBA's Chief, Chief Executive Matt Common. There are some risks that he's starting to see emerge in the economy. It makes sense when that, you're a bank as big as CBA. You've got all these customers. You can look at all the FPOS terminals, what consumer spending's doing, and it's really the discretionary spending that he's concerned about. So I just got a little quote I can read out for you, but basically Matt Common says, we're seeing consumer demand moderate and economic growth slow, and we're now closely monitoring the impact of reduced discretionary spend, particularly on our small and medium-sized business customers. So, yeah, as I was saying before, it looks like the, the big risks are starting to emerge with the business banking sector uh, and it's not going to yeah. get through to the consumer sector until a bit later in the year. But overall, it was a big profit from Commonwealth Bank, $10.2 billion profit. They lifted their dividend again. So the final dividend, full year dividend payout for the year is $4.50, which is great news for bank shareholders. And again, it's you know Australia's biggest bank, one in every four home loans written by CBA. There is a lot of competition though right now, Pete, in the home loan market and they're obviously starting to feel the pressure with squeeze margins in the home loan book, but overall yeah. their margin increased due to interest rates going So are they, pointing to, are they pointing to anyone defaulting? You know, are they getting that bad, Ed? Uh, look, the bank has put out some numbers today. I've just started to go through them, but there is this figure called the loan loss rate. Uh, last year, it was only four basis points. This year, it has increased to 12 basis points. Uh, but I would say in mm. FY 2020, it was at 33 basis points. So they're saying consumer arrears have increased in recent months, but remain historically low, reflecting low levels of unemployment and high levels of consumer savings and repayment buffers. Um, they have also said today that loan impairment costs have risen $1.4 billion in the past. 12 months. So there are obviously people that are now defaulting on their loans. It's still at historically low levels, yeah. but I think the implication is those numbers are going to slowly increase over the next year or so.